What up, Ringo? We're gonna go over First Swords versus the Grizzlies. First part of the Grizzlies series. Um, let's just get into it. We're just gonna watch it straight through. Um, Cumby destroyed by a check. Andrews penetrating back field. Should get a big check. It's a nice dodge there. Um, we're gonna see a suicide by Josh over here. Uh, I mean, not really a suicide. He just sort of throws and fails. Um, you're gonna see. Nice pull down by Andrew over there. Um, then he's going to get pulled off the rail and thrown down by Jesse. Um, my, uh, Brandon's going to go for a throw while he's too tangled and get pulled down. Same thing that happened to Josh over there. So there's that throw by Jesse. And Jesse comes in, peels Paul off the rail. Teamwork right here. Pushes him down. Cool. All right, we'll start with this charge. So Cumbie here in the red comes in and just runs into, he's running straight at two people, so this is just a bad run to start with. He needs to cut into the middle and either hit this corner or try and sort of dance around in front of these guys or try to dance and pull these guys out so that you can get a crossing run by Andrew or Josh here. Basically literally any run but straight into them. Now, not only is that a shitty run, but there's some great teamwork as they step up together to hit him. Boom, look at that. So that's, I don't know if that was planned, I don't know if they just are that in sync, or it was just so that they both had the same idea at the same time. But let's see more of this. Two people hitting one person on a charge, stepping in sync. If, if we can get that down, that's, that's just brilliant. So great work there. I also want to talk about their mechanics on it. So Jesse kind of throws his ass backwards here and stops on that push to prevent himself from running through. And Jay is still running through, but notice how he stays off to the side a little bit and kind of rotates with uh, Cumby. So that's gonna allow him to kind of run around the body. Uh, nice pickup there by Micah to keep him from getting straight into the backfield. So speaking of, we see Sam leave to try and make something happen deeper. Uh, he's like, nope. I'm not, I thought I had Josh, I don't. But by doing that, he opened this little space right there. That's gonna open up a run for Andrew to come in. And because of Brandon Knight, he needs to step up here. And that's gonna prevent the quick run and force Andrew to come all the way around, uh, meaning he can sort of step in. But because he leaves that angle, Andrew's like, coming at you, no I'm not. Tries to get a quick trip, but Andrew's like, I'm not even coming close. Um, Sweet little dodge by Jesse. We'll see that better in a second. Jay's gotten free by this point. Just like, no, I'm not going to deal with you, Micah. Smart move. Leave him in the dust. Go and involve himself there. Two on one on Micah. Ends up not doing anything. So let's, let's take a look at this. Right, so back on the other side of the field, we have Brandon come over across. And uh, right here, Jesse's going to make the same leap, he's going to be like, oh, Michael looks like he's in trouble, I'm going to go ahead and throw to Andrew. And while I kind of think that's okay, that bot, these two bodies here, oh no, that's just one body, that one body there just kind of makes that a, a bad play. If I, I was going to move, I'd go hit Paul, <laughs> standing here, where his back's completely in the open, right, Micah's uh, back to rail, he's nice and safe there. Um, so I, I don't like that trade, but I do like the idea of trading, though so the real problem with this trade... Jesse lets go, leaves, and Jay never picks it up. So Jay manages to break free of uh, Andrew, and since he was previously getting hit in the ass by Micah, reaches over and <laughs> grabs his own guy. So there you have two Grizzlies wrestling each other. And that's not good. Um, by the time they figure it out, it's too late. Andrew has his back. Nice pull down by Andrew. Um, I'd like to see that. Basically what happens here... You can see Jay has uh, Andrew pressed up. Actually, let's go back a little further. So Andrew has good, good rail position here. And he reaches over. Instead of hooking onto the rail, he's like, nope, I'm going to try and tangle. And both he and Je Je Jesse come off the rail. And Micah comes, a I mean, uh, Andrew comes a little further. And he's getting pushed up against uh, Lance here, so he can't get his ass to rail. It's turned out a little more right here. 
and then all it takes, yep, that nice little turn, a little twist on the hips from Jesse, boom. And then all it takes is a quick push, possibly over a body, maybe over Lance's leg. Hard to tell really, but really just a quick push and he's down. Um, and that's basically just by letting his uh, ass get free. Um, Jesse goes, looks for the best opportunity, decides to come back in on Paul. And this is again, um, Paul is here not, not asked to rail. So easy to yank him off. And he's trying for the double headlock, but um, you can see Lance is pushing right there, and that's just going to cause him to slip off of Lance's head. Nice little duck under by Lance to get his head out, too. And then just an easy pull down from there. Like I said, this is the other angle. Sorry, the volume is on. Take another look at this angle. Um, so the start with this to charge by Combi. So as Combi's coming in, as soon as he starts moving, you can see both guys step up. So let's go back. Right, he runs in straight, and Jay steps up. And right at that exact same moment, you see Jesse start to move his see move his arms. He's going the same way. So that's kind of how you can key off of that. Uh, as you see your friend doing it, you step up um, and just sort of know, hey, we're going to hit this guy. And look at that. That's just perfect. Um, so part of why Jay went off to the side here looks like it's because he ran into Jesse, but still, that's kind of how you want to do it when you hit that check. So you don't go straight through the guy. So he's, he's actually hitting on the shoulder here. That's going to allow you to come off to the side and you'll run uh, you run past the guy instead of through him. And note, even though Jesse's low, and he's actually going to hit Cumby right. So Cumby actually dropped too. Nice. Good work. Notice the bend in his knee there. Jesse, though, is, is lower. Uh, shoulders are here. Shoulders are here. And note, Cumby comes up as if he's going to loop over the head. Um, and Jesse just goes straight through the shoulders there. And as he hits... He straightens up his back and then steps backwards with that shove. So he's pushing off of Cumby, shoving with his hands, and that's going to let him stay up um, instead of running through and running over, which apparently I I've heard is a problem Jesse used to have. So it's looking like he fixed that, which is great. We're, we're going to see a couple more shots like that later on, all right? So Andrew's coming in for the hit, and Jesse's like, nope, last moment, steps out of the way. Um, I would have liked to see him get back in there quicker um, or just, hey, I'm out of the way. Let me engage Paul right here because it takes, let's count, one, two, three seconds to get back in. And when he does get back in, he doesn't know what he's doing. So right here, uh, I sort of grab his back. Oh, I can't grab his head. Um, I guess I'll just look around. So, Andrew's, I want to point out something Andrew's going to hate me for. See the back of his calves right there? Super unprotected. So throw some shit at that. His, uh, he's actually pretty good through the rest of this area. Um, it's not, he's not the easiest to find gaps on, um, especially with that tabard hiding some stuff. But you can still throw some shots at that. And look, his arm is up right here. Um, you can punch with your key on right into that. Uh, does he have a key on? I don't know if Jesse has a key on. Is. But even just punching your gauntlet into that it sucks. So that would have worked. Uh, maybe some kicks dragging him off. Uh, whoops. A kick to that lower leg right there. Um, that would have been cool. So basically anything but this kind of, I don't know what I'm doing. This That's just bad. Um, and then giving up on Andrew to go for... Um, Go for Micah. I, I like that he's stopping Micah from swinging. All right, we see Micah take two swings. One, two. But if you think about it, he's swinging a bat, so it's not going to do anything. And Brandon's right there. So just let Brandon take him. Work the double team you had. Um, maybe go to Paul instead, who's who's out. But, uh... <laughs> and here's that where they grapple each other. That's hilarious. Uh, I'm never going to let that get lived down. We're going to skip to right here. Now, see how Micah is below one shoulder here? 
and how his bat um, is creating a sort of uh, brace along his back, and his arm, I'm not sure if we're actually going to see it, but he's actually over, yeah, so you see here he's actually over the shoulder, boop, right there, um, so he has this triangle, and Brandon's, we're going back, Brandon's left shoulder right here is locked out, so he has a, Mike has a lot of control over his body right now, and based on that, when he goes to try that throw, he's going to go down with him. Um, you're almost guaranteed, just because that that grab is so tight. You you might be able to slip it if your arm wasn't caught in there, but because of that, even the Ukrainian uh, base out technique, um, which is pretty sweet, uh, I don't even think that would work. Um, so I, I want to talk about something else. So Micah gets this right here. It's hard to sh see where his feet are, but now. If we take a look, we go back, he yanks, and Brandon is off balance. You can see the bend in his leg here, bend in his leg here, and the direction that his weight is going in. If Micah violently jerks back that way over his right leg, um, he can probably just pull Brandon down straight over it. And as he's jerking, let go with this hand, um and sort of throw the bat out, or could let go with the other hand. The point is you, you get rid of that, uh, that triangle you have. Um, so that would have been a nice way to him to get out of that. And then I, let's talk about when Jesse comes here. Note how he's blocking Paul's arm right here. Paul can't get to the rail. And this pull is going to keep him from being able to lock in. Basically, once he gets him here, it's all done. He's pulling against Paul's center. Uh, I would have let go, if I were Paul, I would have let go of, well, I probably wouldn't have. If if Paul had the the time, let's see, he has, what, like two seconds? One, two, oh, three, four, he might have. All right, so Paul's holding on, and you see uh, Lance tries to duck under, but doesn't quite get free, and then Paul comes up. Now, at this point, if I'm Paul, I let go of Lance and I just focus on Jesse. Um, now, he's thinking I'm going to use this double to try and bring uh, Jesse to the rail. But Jesse is just, he's going to be too strong, especially with this push from Lance. And uh, he just slips out. Um, yeah, maybe this double would have worked against two, you know, weaker opponents, but... Both those guys are big, strong dudes. I mean, Paul's a big, strong dude, too, but uh, it's a big, strong dude versus two big, strong dudes. So, um, yeah, so needs to needs to focus on one of them and try and get out of that first. Um, but instead, tries to get the two, tries to lock them up, and just off the rail, can't do it. Um, I don't know if I pointed this out before, but let's take a look. See this push right here? That's key. That allows uh, Jesse to have that little bit of extra power on that pull down, so that Paul is now fighting two people, and that's what allows Lance to get his head out, and that's what puts him down. All right, cool.